everyone, this is Gracie again, and today I'm going to start off by citing a Chinese proverb for you. If you give a poor man a fish, he'll eat for a day, but if you teach him to fish, you will give him an occupation that will last him a lifetime. This pertains to my speech because today I'm going to be telling you why we should require home economics and adulting 101 in our schools still. To start, I'd like to tell you how a child's brain develops. Starting from when they are born, a child develops the sensory part of their brain. Have you ever noticed that babies put a lot of things in their mouths? This is because this is how they explore the world. Going from age is two to seven, a child develops the imagination. They also have knowledge of time depth, which is like your past, present, and future. They realize how, like yesterday this happened, but today this is happening. They also develop patterns. From ages two, 7 to 11, they start developing feelings and noticing things around them in details. As you all know, this is the age category where puberty starts. This has a big to do with the development of a child's brain and the feelings. Moving on for, to age 11 and up, children start learning how to problem solve, view the world, and plan for the future. This is the part where they would need to be in those home economics and adulting 101 classes. So let's see what these classes offer. And why? So the first question I have is why do we need these classes? Well, according to Temple Grandin, I will put her video speech in the description. We need these classes because they teach children to problem solve. People don't make their children cook and sew anymore. So what are they to do? Things like woodworking and metal fabrication are also good to teach a child to problem solve. Anymore in today's society, not very many people learn to problem solve. Have you ever wondered, like, why didn't my parents teach me this? It could be that they didn't know it. We hire a lot of things out anymore. Coming from a seamstress point of view, there's hardly anybody around. I know we hire out things like electrical work and cars, oil changes, you hire somebody to tow you because you can't get the spare on. This is costly over time. We need to expose kids to more and more as well because when they graduate high school, 52% said they weren't ready for the real world. 82% said they were ready for college. But it, again, they aren't problem solving and thinking for themselves. College isn't always right for everybody. Temple Grandin also stated that you have to stretch a child's brain and not shock it. So can you imagine standing on the top of a building with a big piece of fabric stretched across the floor, up off the ground about three feet. You have a bowling ball and you drop it. Of course, this is gonna rip the fabric if it's not very good fabric. This is like a state of shock for a child's brain. This is what happens when you do school, 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 and then you're like, fly free. Next, you take bowling ball and set it on there. That's stretching the fabric and it's less likely to tear. So what kind of class or topics are taught in Adulting 101? Things like meal planning, playing, paying online bills. My parents taught me how to pay bills through the mail, but today our world is changing and we need to know how to do things like this online. 
We need to understand insurance, learn how to clean our houses properly, yard work and keep up, laundry, staying out of debt, budgeting, understanding taxes, and things like changing a spare tire in our, on our car, changing the oil, any kind of car upkeep. Home economics classes include cooking, child development, home management and design, sewing and textiles, budgeting, health and hygiene. Have you ever imagined, can you imagine you're out on the street and you see this homeless person sitting there and you feel so bad because they're dirty and they don't know what to do. A lot of times this is because of ignorance. They don't know what to do and they live off the government most of the time. But if we teach them how to do these things, the children in public school, then it's unlimited like how much we could undo, get these people out of poverty. So, a quote, author is unknown. There is no wealth like knowledge and poverty like ignorance. No poverty like ignorance. These people are poor because they're ignorant. But if we teach them, it'll make them rich. So thank you, and if you have any questions, just let me know.